Hey guys, Gameboy30 Young here once again in the long drive and look at this. Last episode, we found this amazing harvester looking truck. It's got a huge container on the back and fit tons of stuff in it. It's got a sunroof, it's got a light here, it's got a massive diesel engine. And we're off. So far, it doesn't seem very fast. It's a middle ground between the bus and the wagon. The bus, I think, can carry more if you don't mind it, like getting caught in the seat. And the bus engine itself, I think, is a little bit more powerful. But this does not seem bad. Oh, we're going to get our first road kill of the series. Got him good. And we have found out last episode that, at least on a truck with mostly good tires, I think, yeah, that tire's good. On a truck with pretty good tires, you know, normally grippy, if you spin out, you will not flip over, even on the hill. So, that's a good thing to know. You don't need to worry about tipping over. Or something this big always can. Even cars can tip over. But this seems to be, like, the ideal vehicle. I think maybe if we find a bus and put a bus motor in this, that will be the meta for this car. Because I think the bus motor is uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful. They still both take 10 liters of oil, so they're, they got to be about the same cylinder size, you know? Let's see. A little bit squirrely at top speed. Braking is not questionable at best. And chalk it up to us carrying around an actual extra engine with us. Because if we find a, we find another car and we can't fit this diesel engine in, we do have a spare motor. It's the good motor, the gas motor. So, the other inline four, inline five look alike. I'm not sure what motor this is. It's got like four exhausts on each side, but it's very thin. So I think it's a big inline four. And the bus, I don't know what engine that is. It could be like a a big flat six. I'm not aware of any buses that use big flat sixes though, so maybe I'm bad. Either way, it definitely seems like the bus motor is more capable, at least inside other vehicles. I haven't tested this motor inside another vehicle. I was I installed it in another vehicle, but it looks like the bottom of it was like scraping the ground because of how tall this motor is so i think i thought it wouldn't drive but maybe it will and i'm just bad i'll try it next time So far, though, nothing this episode. Can't really complain, though. Last episode was so good. This is the scavenger edition. Don't forget, so if we find a new vehicle, we do need to try to swap to it. Even though we just found this. Like, we can straddle the edge pretty okay. Got the ride height that it just doesn't matter. Definitely the highest riding vehicle in the game so far. Look out. We're good. Ouch. 
That was a little bit odd. We didn't break anything though and didn't lose any health, so we're good. We do need to be careful because this character is not on full health. I'm hoping that after having drink some fluid, some alcohol, and swapping cars in our old car that was all bloodied up is so far away that our health has returned. There's no way to be sure though. Driving in first person, it's definitely loud. Closing the engine cover doesn't do anything, it's just a naturally loud car. There you go. I guess that's the only thing that fell off in that little impact. This update's pretty good. Not flawless though. We have had a weird bug at the beginning where uh, if you're trying to fill a radiator into another radiator, uh, the radiator you're trying to fill with will suddenly weigh like 80, uh, 80 liters and try to kill you. And it will make a car sink down to the ground. Not all the way through the ground and sink through the ground. But it was definitely odd. It's not a bug I'd seen before. Actually, I tell a lie. I think we've seen something similar in multiplayer. Where, you know, one player can see stuff completely filled and the other will be like, Bro, what are you talking about? There's nothing in here. But then, if the other player, like, updates it by opening it for a second, so it updates its uh, fluid count, then the host will see what the players, what the client sees. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see what's up here. I go nice and slow so we don't have stuff just fall through the world. I'm hoping we don't have a new car already. I would love to keep this one for longer. We do have a new car. It would be interesting to see what it performs like with uh, this new motor. We do have a new car. Okay. Scavenger hunt. Even if we have the best vehicle in the game, gotta swap to something if we can. Uh, wow, this is the most wrecked I've ever seen one of these places. There's nothing here. Yeah, this is one of the cooling tanks for that, at least. Oh. No, we can't even... I don't think we can even do this, because... Uh, I don't have enough tires. Could fit it with the big boy tires, but no, you need to do that. I mean, maybe, I don't know. In the beginning, like, body panels that almost fit. That's a good thing. I guess the game has fixed that slightly where, uh, car parts you find inside of a garage will fit the car that's there. At least have a better chance to. If there's the front door, it's fine. Now, we don't have the materials to fix it. Just fill her up with a little bit of douche we found. Open the back up. Throw it in. I think we can get it working. It's just way far gone. Got no dash. Got no grill, no bumper. Uh, maybe we can get it working. Hold on. There's an tire. Oh, that's a bus tire. That's not going to work. 
It gave us a little bit of hope. Toilets are funny, but they're actually annoying. They get in the way a lot. Oh my gosh, please, let me over. There we go. But it's not the dwarf of this car. Yeah, let's let's go. Not enough materials. If it was a garage with more than nothing, it would be good. But there's just nothing. So away we go. One of the more disappointing things we've ever found. Not as disappointing as the container ship that was filled with only empty items. Let's see what's over the hill here. Looks like there could be a station up ahead. Or it could be the top of like pointy rocks. I cannot tell from this distance. And trying to zoom in just zooms into the back of the truck. So there is a flaw with this vehicle. Visibility not great. Ah. Yeah, even from the front, visibility not great. A lot of your viewers taken up by dashboard. Then zooming into the back here, a lot of your viewers taken up by truck. I can't see anything for now. I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a break. A bit of snack and stuff. I'm gonna pause the recording. But not stop it. So I will be back in one YouTube second. We are back. Let's get the music resumed. And away we go. Yeah, don't really see too much for a little while yet. Let's go get, get over this hill. Big water tower over there. Still don't think they have anything useful for us. If it's by the road, we can investigate it to see if there have been any changes. I'm not sure though.
Okay, I'm just lift and coast here. Coast so good, don't turn off the motor. If you... Not sure how fuel efficient this motor is. Compared to the bus motor, I know the bus is not really efficient, but it's really fast. I don't know, maybe they changed it since they introduced this motor. I don't know. A big hill up ahead, it looks like. Take a nap. Here we go. We're good to go. Really can't see much here. Here we go. It actually does help. I guess it is time to see how well this thing does climbing. Climbing with a nut. Uh, minuscule amount of weight. Carrying uh, some empty barrels, it's carrying an engine. You know, it's got some weight back in the thing here. Something up on the left, it looks like. Hmm. Not too quick up the hill. Forty kilometers. What kind of falling? This is a very steep hill. Not really building. Tiny gas station. One thing we do know though is that uh, they usually do make a little flat spot for themselves to spawn. We can investigate without too much worry. One liter of gas. Here's what we can do though. We can fix up this door. I think that's as good as we can get that. Let me fix up this rim. Can a little bit. Not perfect, but not bad. And add this to the collection. That's a thing there, water tower. Uh, there's nothing down there. We can. I want to take a look at the water tower. Just to see if there's anything new. I don't think there is. Oh, looks like there's another building like right here. Pretty quick succession for 
building spawn. Unless that's a very far off in the distance a rock. It might be a rock. It might not be. But it could be. But it is. Okay. Can we get zero sads in the chat? I think this is a steady as she goes kind of vehicle. Downhills, it can get a little bit sketchy, but going uphills, it doesn't seem to be struggling really at all. Oh, look at this. We also have something else. Another small building. A bunker, maybe. Or maybe it's... No, it's definitely a bunker. Water tower. Same kind of thing. Uh, anything here? Does not look like it. Uh, yeah, nothing in these water towers. Same as ever. Kind of thought so. But we had to check. There was an update. Maybe it changed something. In this case, it didn't. And we have a bunker over here to take a look at. the road you can still shoot the road back that way right there I do wonder what like all these different colored patches in the grass mean if anything some other building up there next to a boat that's cool uh extra bond right there hmm Fine with nothing. Well, that's very hopeful. Yep. Can't put our existing motors in it without killing them. You can only use the turbine motor. Oh, John. There's another case of find a vehicle where you don't have the materials to fix it. And if I did carry the materials to fix it, uh, would have been a lot to carry and stuff. And a lot to lose too, you know? Alright, so we clean that up a little bit. Uh, away we go. At the next stuff to go for uh, a little bit out of the way of the road, definitely. But it's a boat next to potentially something good. So we're going to go for it. If there's nothing at the house, then going to the boat will definitely be worth it. We can tow this truck all the way up. I'm not sure we'll have enough time to really get to go on. Uh, I'm going to see if we can take the road to it. If I do see the road there, maybe the road will lead us right to it. Maybe. Whoa, epic drifts. This is the best vehicle in the game. 
can actually do drifts and recover, even in the grass. No such like that time around. Look at this though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It gets close to tipping over, but we haven't fallen over once yet. This is the car. This is the vehicle. Right, so it's a little bit far away from the road. Get closer to it by the road, though, by using the road. I don't think we'll be, able to, we'll be able to just stay on the road and get to there. Another rock. We'll get past these rocks and go up there. I love how you can actually drift this. <laughs> Despite it being <laughs> this giant truck. Too much. I love it. Hmm. Getting a little bit close. If it's loading in the oh, that's not good. Have we lost anything from that slight impact? I think we're good. Yep. Hiding rocks. They can get you in the grass. So, I'm hoping we don't find a vehicle here. Actually, don't see one. I wish there can be one, like, inside the house, oddly enough. Oh, there is one. Hmm. Bond. Can I free this? Sometimes they get royally stuck. And you can't free them. There is a bike there. Uh, I would much rather take a Trevant than a bike. Alright, so the Trabant is filled with stuff, so as per the rules, as I alluded to in the future, uh, we will get rid of our amazing gigantic car. <laughs> and we cannot keep its motor. Well, hold on a minute. I would need to figure this out. That's filled with a lot of oil. I can try to drain it. That's empty. As it currently stands, I don't have a way to get that oil out and save some so I can use the gas that I do have in it to give it er, optimal fuel ratio ratio. That's a lot of oil. Is there like a thing around out here? There's a thing. That is empty. At least this is the Trabant wagon. So we will have a lot of space. So, let's try this. We'll take the motor, eat it over there, and say that it broke the motor and we can't use it. No, it won't do that. Let's see if this will work. If we can transport the tube. 
the oil out of that into this. Hook that. Hmm. Okay, I can hold it, and it'll work. So, okay, we do have a Trabant. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, next episode, I guess we're going to be taking a Trabant and leaving behind that Gold Star. That's my name of it, the Gold Star. I don't know what it's actually called, but Gold Star is your new official name. Take pride. I'll see you all in the future.